this tutorial, we are going to implement hierarchical clustering on Iris dataset in Python. We will implement the hierarchical clustering in three steps, which are loading the data, implementing the model, and visualizing the cluster. Before starting this tutorial, we should already install Anaconda with Jupyter Notebook on your computer, and we should also have a sufficient knowledge of Python. If you haven't set up Anaconda on your computer, I have provided the link of the tutorial on how to set up Anaconda with Jupyter Notebook on Ubuntu in the video description below. Now let's get started. First open your terminal and launch Jupyter Notebook and then create a new Python 3 Notebook. We will start with our only four imports. I will quickly copy paste them here. From SQLand, we have imported datasets to load Iris data and agglomerative clustering. We also imported dendrograms and linkage from SciPy library. In the model section, we will see where they are. And the last import is matplotlib for making plots. After imports, our first step would be to simply load the Iris dataset. We will simply do this by loading it from SQLand datasets variable that we imported in our previous line then we will split the features and the labels in the iris dataset because we don't need the data labels for model implementation because hierarchical hierarchical clustering is unsupervised learning after doing these two simple steps our data will be ready for model implementation our next step is to implement the model First, we will initialize our agglomerative clustering model with the parameters. The first parameter of our model is linkage. The default value of linkage is ward. The linkage parameter finds which distance criteria should be used between the data points. The model will combine the sets of clusters that minimize this criteria. We can assign four values like ward average complete or single to this uh, to the linkage parameter the next parameter is n cluster is which is equal to 3 i have randomly assigned the value equal to 3 which is how many cluster we want to find in the data after initializing the model we will fit our data features into the model and that's it our model is ready at this point We'll next print the predicted labels made by the model as we can see in the label values the model has predicted three clusters with the values 0 1 and 2 after model implementation we will visualize our data features using dendrograms i will quickly copy the code for the plot in the code we have initialized the linkage matrix variable by fitting our features to the linkage method and kept the default value for the linkage value as ward. Next, we have passed the linkage matrix to the dendrogram method. The rest of the code is just regular code for a plot. So we have plotted the dendrograms for iris data here. We have the data points at the x-axis and the distance at the y-axis. We can see the data points along the x-axis are crowded and not very readable. We will make them more readable in the next plot. The main advantages of hierarchical clustering are that we don't have to presume any specific number of clusters beforehand like we saw in the case of k-means. The second advantage is that we can get the clusters by cutting the dendrograms at different levels we can cut the dendrograms either by the number of clusters we want let's say two or three or we can simply cut them based on the distance if we want to have one cluster in the iris data set if we look at our plot we can simply draw a line at the top as we can see the red line if we want to have two clusters in our data, we can cut in the middle as we can see the blue line. Similarly, if we want to have three clusters in Iris dataset, then we can cut it with the green line. 
Here we simply cut the dendrograms based on how many different groups we wanted to see in our data. We can also use these lines to make clusters based on the distance. If we look at the y-axis of our plot, we can say that we got one cluster at the distance 35, two clusters at distance 15 by blue line, and three clusters by cutting at the distance 8 by green line. In the next step, we simply made our first dendrogram plot neat and clean by simply using 20 data points at the x-axis insta instead of putting all the data points along x-axis. So that's it. I hope you like the video. Bye.